18 year old Nicholas Cruz arriving in a Florida jail still wearing his hospital gown. He is expected in court today. We're learning Cruz was expelled from the high school where this happened last year. Some students say they're not surprised that he could be behind this. Others describe him as a nice and normal guy. Investigators believe Cruz pulled a fire alarm to draw people out. Some ran out of the building. Others took cover in classrooms. Officials say Cruz slipped out of the building by blending in with other students. Cell phone video shows officers taking him to the ground. At least 17 people are dead. Others are injured. There are reports that a football coach jumped in front of students to protect them from the shooter. Gabrielle Pupo saw it happen. So when I took my headphones off, the alarm was going off and I heard the shot and then I saw the shooter run after Mr. Bikes and I saw Mr. Bikes get shot. ABC News is reporting that that football coach was killed. Relatives say Cruz was adopted as an infant. Another family who knew him from the high school took him in about three months ago after both of his adopted parents died. That family's attorney says they didn't see this coming. However, investigators are closely looking at some disturbing posts on social media. Terrence. Sarah, you could hear it in that young lady's voice there. As you can imagine, being inside that school, this was happening was traumatic. Students are now describing the horror as that gun was going off. Many of them hiding under desk to survive. We were just like praying and crying and I don't know how we're alive. Somebody down the hall was screaming like, help me, come save me. School is closed for the rest of the week. Uh, the town is also bringing in grief counselors uh, this morning for the students. Uh, this is now the third deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. In 2007, 32 people were killed at Virginia Tech. In 2012, 26 were killed in the Sandy Hook massacre. And here's another tough statistic this morning, folks. We are only halfway through February, and there have been 18 school shootings in the US. You can see the locations here on your screen and that number is from the gun control advocacy group every town for gun safety. That's what they're called. And the calls for gun measures already echoing